Hi guys and welcome back. As you guys know, I'm a bit of a Dior fan and have been for a very, very, very long time. And over the years, it's meant that I have invested in different items and accessories that I knew I wanted to see me through the rest of my life. That I'd hand down to my children, maybe I could give to friends in the future, whatever it may be. But I've invested in lots of pieces from Dior. And the other day I thought, you know what, I've never actually rounded everything up and shown it in a collection. Thinking about it I think it's the only thing I've ever collected so I thought the perfect time to do a collection video just to put a disclaimer out there this is in no way a bragging video it's just to show you this collection these are things that I've invested in anything that I have been gifted or it's been discounted I will let you know but otherwise everything else I've bought myself with my own savings because I'm just a huge huge fan let's get into the video I'm gonna kick off with jewelry now I do have a lot of the more costume jewelry from Dior like the you know what should be wearing them really. I'm wearing these today because I, I really love these but should really be wearing my um, tribal, 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 my tribal earrings. But you guys have seen them so many times but I thought I'd show you my kind of more um, special, super special, more high jewellery style pieces. The first is this Dior watch. I think I bought this maybe three or four years ago and it was a present. This is the Montan 8th watch and it is, do I want to say automatic? No, I want to say it's the one that you have to wear it and it and it winds itself to work. And I bought this a few years ago as a big treat to myself. I think this might have been for my 25th birthday potentially, or maybe my 26th birthday. It was a big, big treat and I have worn it to death. I think if you have watched my channel a lot, you'll know just how much I've worn this watch. I absolutely love it. Um, recently though, I bought myself a new watch. When it comes to jewellery, watches are my absolute favourite thing. I wear them every single day. So to invest in watches is something I'm more than happy to do. I've mentioned it before actually, but this watch, you cannot buy this watch in this style. Um, I had this specially put together for me. I paid full price as an ordinary customer, but I wanted this face, which is from the Rose Devon collection and I wanted it with this strap which is from a different collection because I thought that the two together would be absolutely stunning and I literally love it. Because of that I had to pay for one watch which was the Rose Devant watch which came in the black satin strap and then I bought this strap separately as a secondary strap so obviously the price went up but again it was a huge treat and I got myself this as a massive congratulations for writing my book because that was a big deal for me so this was a big treat to myself. And the last jewellery piece to mention is actually from the same collection. This is the Rose Devant necklace in the silver again. It has a diamond in the middle and then on the back, so it's like a two-sided necklace and on the back is Mother of Pearl. Yeah, which is why I love this necklace because in a way you get two necklaces in one. So one day I might wear it with Mother of Pearl and then the other day I might wear it with the diamond and the star. And of course that goes with my watch as well from the same collection. They also have the most beautiful studs that are just like this, that match, and they're bringing out some little tiny ones soon, which I really, really want in the silver, so everything matches because it's just the most beautiful jewellery collection ever. Yeah, I'd love to get the whole matching set because it's, I just think it's the most beautiful jewellery collection ever. They also do rings as well. I've never actually invested in those yet, but the watch and the necklace I absolutely adore. The necklace was bought for me by Alex as a birthday gift a few years ago. I'm not gonna do sunglasses or my costume jewellery collection is because there's so much this video will go on forever. I have a number of pairs of sunglasses and again you've probably seen them everywhere um, so instead I'm going to keep this now to bags, shoes and clothing. So let's get into this. Let's start off with the first bag I ever bought myself. This is the Diorama in the kind of burgundy maroony shade. I don't know it's a little bit dusty because I actually haven't used this in a little while but I absolutely fell in love with this shade and that's what made me buy it because the shade is just almost like a raspberry, raspberry red pink Pink. This is an incredible bag. It just fits so much in here. I love the fact that it's also baby blue, but you would not believe how much makeup and dirt is in there now because I've just used it so, so much. But it's an incredible bag. I also love the silver strap because I'm very much a silver girl. So when I saw this colorway, I was totally, totally drawn in. This is also in the medium size, I believe. I think there's one smaller than this, and then there's also a larger one than this, but this is the perfect size for me. And this is the first one I ever bought. The next one, this is the 
Dior Ever bag in the mini version in the cobalt blue and this was a gift I was given from Vestiaire Collective who do a lot of secondhand bags so this was a previously owned piece and I fell absolutely in love with it it's the most incredible blue I've worn it with so many outfits and it's been like the statement bag in fact in the mini it's not it's not too bad in terms of what you can fit in there it can fit a good amount I mean I can get my, my phone my camera lots of lipsticks etc inside of there so it's not actually as bad as you'd think but it's just so cute little feet comes with a strap but quite often I wear this as like a little teeny weeny bag and I think it's just adorable then I bought this bag and this is the Dior Addict bag Dior Arma Dior Ever Dior Addict this is a Dior Addict bag I got this one in the studded leather I just really liked the whole especially when Maria Grazia came in and brought in this very antique style gold I don't know I really really loved it especially with this chain strap that says CD all over it it's a very very cool style I've worn this to death honestly I wore this so so much and it's just suede all through the inside it fits loads in here it's been an incredible investment in fact every single one of these bags I've worn so so much I'm so happy in fact the number of times I've worn this and it's literally been bulging I think it's the most fantastic bag they still have in fact they still have all of these bags if you do love any of them the next bag I bought was this one the book toe and this particular style was quite difficult to get my hands on and luckily I managed to get myself on the waiting list and I got hold of this Harrods did a pop-up recently where you could take your tote bag in and they would embroider it for you with your name so it just feels super special now otherwise this is just a plain orange and this side says Dior so I don't think you can get this style anymore but they have loads of new styles for the season if you do love the book tote and you are thinking of getting one just ask in a boutique if they do do the custom embroidery you never know they might be able to send it off for you and get it made but this is just all honest oh in fact there's a Dior scarf in there it's just honestly I love it so so much it's quite pricey for the fact that it's just a book tote in canvas but it's something I'll have forever I just love it the colours the style if I'm going on errands or if I'm going for meetings and I need to take things with me this is what I take so I use it lots and lots the next Dior bag in the collection is the Dior saddle bag and this was a very very kind gift from the Dior team when the new saddle bag came out I'm sure that you saw the millions of Dior saddle bag pictures that went out that day but it was just a gift it was an amazing gift I went for the small saddle bag in this nude leather because this doesn't come in a medium size and I'll be completely honest with you I would not recommend going for the small size it does not fit my phone it doesn't fit very much in here at all I might just be able to get my camera in at most but it will not fit my iPhone plus so bear that in mind this is very much something that I take usually like this as a clutch with a few lipsticks in and maybe just about fit my, my camera for events but otherwise it doesn't fit very much I'll be honest but I also have that with the strap Dior do these incredible straps, lots of different designs if you did want to get one for any of the bags and you can attach them to any of them but especially for the saddle bags they are super cool it's just a great feature to add to your outfit as well those were an amazing gift so they were the fifth Dior bag the final bag is this one this is the Lady Dior in the mini size and this is in the very pearlescent pink shade there are a few different pink shades and this one is the one that's quite pearlescent which is why I fell in love with it I love it so much it was just such a massive treat in fact I've still got some of the plastic on this you can tell I just don't want to get it ruined I also bought the little scarf to go with it that has my initial on it because I'm one of those people that's a bit of a sucker for accessories yeah and this comes with a beautiful thin strap which I think just makes this the most elegant beautiful little bag in fact the strap was one of the things that really sold this to me because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful like this and again huge treat to myself quite recently I bought it in Heathrow Airport so I could get the duty free so it saved I saved a little bit on this but it was always in my mind that I never had like the most classic Lady Dior bag I remember being in high school and standing in front of one of the Dior boutiques and just like my face pressed up against the window looking at the Dior Lady Dior bags and thinking one day if I can afford to get one of these bags I would absolutely love to have one so it was a big treat and something I've, I've always always dreamed of having so it's probably I'd probably say this was my absolute favorite of all of the other bags as well look how pretty it is okay let's get into shoes there are lots I'm gonna just quickly whiz through them all okay the first one up these boots are probably my most loved pair of shoes maybe ever these are in a jacquard fabric blue 
pink to the toe and brown to the heel. Honestly, I think my most favourite shoes I've ever bought in my entire life. And I will keep these forever. They have a lacing up the side, a zip, pink zip up the back. And these were one of the runway collections by, I think this was the last collection by Raf Simmons a few years back. And I honestly am so glad I managed to get these. I think they called these in for me and I'm just over the moon. I love them to bits. I'm going to carry on with boots because I've got a couple more to show you. This pair, honestly, I just adore these shoes with this blue Perspex heel. As soon as I saw them, I was like, I need these in my life. They're just the most gorgeous, smooth leather boots. They will last me for years and have done. I've had these for maybe 18 months now so not years but 18 months and I literally adore them so much now that I've just reminded myself that they're on my top shelf I'm gonna be pulling these down so much more for the rest of the season because they go with everything and they just look so cool with this so they were an amazing investment this pair are so kind of like done in even I've even like ruined some of the leather here on the side but honestly one of the best things I've ever bought as well I have worn these pretty much most days I wear these boots if you see me out and about the most likelihood is I'm wearing these boots they are kind of just made in a shoe, pointed toe, extended ankle length, so super tall, and a heel. And of course it has the very Dior style heel for the kind of Maria Grazia collections that she's been doing. Star to the back, and just around here it says Ja Dior. I think they're amazing, I'm so glad I got these. And the last pair of boots, again nice and black, but they've got the Dior patterning in diamantes over the heel. It's more of an almond toe, not so pointy, but still pointy enough for me. I very much like my pointed toe boots and these also kind of lace up they lace up through the back and you can just tie them in a bow so it's just a nice extra detailing and it also says CD here so again I fell in love with these as soon as I saw them I knew that they would just be those kind of boots I could throw on all of the time and I did and I have so again I'm going to be wearing these a lot throughout the rest of the autumn and the winter because they're just amazing autumnal boots. So that's four pairs of Dior boots. Flat shoes, I only have these Dior flat shoes, I believe. So these are my only flat shoes and again, I wore them through summer over and over. I love them. They just tie around your ankle with a little kind of Mexican style print straps, gorgeous pointed toe, really, really comfortable actually. It's very, very tiny, tiny heel. Can't fault them. I'm pretty sure they may still have these in, potentially still have these in. The one pair of Dior shoes I have barely ever worn, and in fact, I have these shoes up for sale right now on my Depop. Whilst I'm mentioning it, I have decided to start selling my last season items again on Depop, just because I always have so many um, amazing things that I've worn maybe once or twice, just because of obviously what I do, fashion and blogging. A few things from like last season, it's hard because I need to start wearing the new season things to show you what's new for the season. Therefore I have all these amazing beautiful clothes that I know some of you guys may love yourself. So I've decided to start selling them again and 20% of anything that I make will all go to breast cancer care charity as well. Just because for the last few years I've been sending all of my items to charity and I kind of just want to make sure that I'm getting the right price for all of these amazing things that I know I've worn once and giving them to you guys because I know a lot of you guys are always like well I can't get to that charity shop I'd love to buy your old things so I've decided to kind of work out a system where I can get all of my things onto Depop give 20% to charity and also it means that you guys can get your hands on anything that you may have loved from last season so these are actually on Depop if you are interested but these are probably my least worn Dior shoes and I got them because quite frankly they are incredible I mean, look at them they're incredible and they were like the hit runway piece I think two years ago and I just had to have them in my collection the issue for me is that I don't think these suit me as much as my others and therefore I've I think I've worn them once. I've worn them once out and about and they are still in, per apart from a little bit of wearing on the soles, they are in perfect condition. But they're absolutely amazing. They're incredible shoes. I've just not worn them that much. But if you would love them yourself, they are on Depop right now. I paid about £1,200 for these and I think they're pretty much on my Depop for a lot less than that. So if you'd like them, have a little peek. My Depop is just in the fro. Right, we're getting into heels now. Um, one of my most beloved pair of Dior heels that I bought a few years ago are these tulip inspired shape. It's really hard to show you black on here because it's not coming up very well. Tulip inspired shape down the side and two straps here and they're in a black suede pointed toe and the comma heel that Dior is known for. These have been a lifesaver. I've worn these so often for events and much more kind of sophisticated, elegant occasions where I've needed a beautiful pair of the stunning black simple 
heels but they also have such an edge with all this extra going on so again worthwhile investment that I will wear for, I mean they're so classic I will just keep wearing these and wearing these okay probably one of my most worn pairs of shoes ever not just in Dior but ever are the Jadior heels I'm sure they must have another name actually but I mean these are kind of like the famous heels you'll have seen these everywhere I bought these years ago and they've been one of my best investments I've ever ever made they're still in the store now quite often this this is the higher heel they also do a kitten heel as well but I just prefer the higher heel personally but they go with everything and they're really really comfortable so much so that I then bought them in the black because they brought out a studded version again in the higher heel exactly the same shoe just one is beige patent and this one is just a black leather but again they go with everything so I have worn these so so much so again another worthwhile investment and I think this is my last pair my most recent pair of heels that I bought and it's these in the two-tone I just thought they were amazing absolutely amazing in this two-tone effect I thought they were super cool I thought they'd just be something I could wear with black dresses or or a very simple outfit that just needs a little bit more of a statement shoe. I must admit though, the day I tried these on in store, I must have been in a rush or something. I got them in my usual size, 37. I'm a UK4. I always buy the 37 Dior. And in honesty, they're a little bit big. So I've actually just bought, these are amazing. I don't know if you can just see this. I've bought these like jelly pads and they stick in. And it means that when your feet are in them, your feet stick to the jelly pad and also it just fills out the back. So they fit now perfectly, thank goodness. So if you ever have that issue and you've bought pair of shoes and I think maybe my feet were hot the day that I tried them on so then when you're cold and you're outside and you're tiptoeing around in these and then your heels start falling out of an expensive pair of shoes it's not great I'd honestly recommend these I think I got them from um, Amazon I'll leave a link down below to where you can get these jelly pads I think they're like five pounds but then I'm just gonna leave those in now and just keep wearing them every time like that so yes this is my most recent pair and just to finish off just a little bit of fashion ooh. <laughs> I have two t-shirts. My dad, my brother and Alex all bought me this as a birthday gift this year for my 29th birthday because I'd always wanted the Jadio t-shirt and I wasn't able to get it the season before and it finally came back in stock in an extra small and I was like, okay, okay, I really, really want this for my birthday. So it was an incredible treat, a wonderful birthday present. This is this season's t-shirt in black and green and this was an amazing press gift that the fashion team sent to me. This print comes on a few other things including the most amazing turtleneck cash cashmere jumper that I've seen this this winter and it's amazing and I wish I could get it but I am happy to rest with the t-shirt it's just a very very cool style I just tuck it in with a pair of high-waisted jeans throw on a pair of boots and it just kind of styles it up and actually I would never usually think of wearing black and green and this kind of t-shirt but I love it I absolutely love it it's nice to kind of wear something out of my usual style and that is my entire collection I realize there's a lot here but I've been collecting it over the past five years or so and it is one of the things that I am more than happy to spend my money on it's the kind of the thing that I enjoy collecting it's my only kind of geeky thing to collect but I'm just I'm so thrilled with all of it and it will all get passed down like I said to my kids and I'll wear it for the rest of my life so yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this guys I'm sure for any of you guys who absolutely adore Dior like me you may have really enjoyed this but everyone else I really hope you enjoyed this too if you're brand new here I'd love it if you subscribed click my face on the screen to subscribe and yeah I enjoyed doing this. I hope you enjoyed it too and I'll see you soon. Bye!